Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 19th of October 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here. So guys, uh, President Mnangagwa will lead uh, the anti-sanction day commemorations with several activities that include solidarity matches, speeches and an all-night gala lined up next Tuesday as preparations for the static initiated day gathers momentum. The Second Republic has set the country's economy on the recovery path in a short space of time despite the fact that the country continue uh, to be under the yoke of illegal sanctions. This was said by Information Publicity and Broadcasting Services Minister Monica Mchangwa while giving journalists an update on the commemorations of the anti sanctions Day which is held on October 25 of every year. Zimbabwe has been under illegal sanctions imposed by the US, the European Union, Australia, Britain, New Zealand and Canada among others since 2001. The sanctions are meant to steal for development, paralyze government sectors and Zimbabweans through the laws of international markets for manufactured products and preclude the government from using its own resources to develop and maintain essential infrastructure, said Minister Mchangwa. Illegal sanctions have caused the Zimbabwean economy upwards of 40 billion US dollars over the last 22 years. However, it is of paramount importance to know that Zimbabwe has remained resolute despite these restrictions. The Second Republic, under the astute leadership of President Idim Nangagwa, has set the country's economy on the recovery path in a short period of time by formulating and implementing social economy, economic uh, development plans that have seen the economy rebounding steadily. She said it was imperative that the embargo be commended. It is therefore imperative that the illegal sanctions should be commended by all Zimbabweans, regardless of political affiliation, since we are all victims, she added. His Excellency the President, Comrade uh, Dr. E. D. Mnangagwa, will lead the nation in condemning and calling for the removal of sanctions at an anti-sanctions event at State House on October 25, 2022. Other organizations have planned an anti-sanctions march across the country on the same day. Ms. Mchangwa said in the evening there would be a musical gala drawing prominent artists at the aquatic complex in Chitungiza from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. following day. Artists such as Masbaba Nicola Zakaria, Levos, and DJ Fanta, Sandra Ndebele, Ndi Murizo, Sulumani Chimbetu, Mike Maendele, uh, Lena Jagata, Matthias Mary, and among others will perform at the show. But before that, we will also host the Sadiq Anti-Sanctions Solidarity Summit 2022 uh, on October 24 to build momentum towards the Anti-Sanctions Day national activities. Zimbabwe said uh, the minister has been surviving under the yoke of the illegal sanctions meaning it would do better once they are removed we have been surviving in the face of sanctions meaning to say we can achieve more once they are removed together let's build resilience through economic development engagement and re-engagement let us come in our numbers and be part of the lined up activities i hope to see you all of you at the chitungwiza aquatic complex on tuesday evening she said the anti sanctions day was adopted by the 39th SADC summit that was held in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania in August 2019 and designated October 25 of each year as the day of solidarity with Zimbabwe against the illegal sanctions imposed by some Western nations. And so, guys, that's the latest here on Tuesday. Uh, Kushitungu is an aquatic complex. And yes, uh, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., gonna see the likes of uh, you know, Mazbaba Nicola Zakaria, Alevos, Fantan, Sandra Ndebele, Endi Murizo, Suleiman Jimbetu, Mike Mayendere, among others, will be part of the gala. And so, guys, uh, got it all in the comment section. Uh, yes, I mean, when it comes to the mass sanctions, I mean, every person on Ongo Vunzano to move and go to the mass sanctions, and then get a version of it. And some are saying which uh, those sanctions are targeted sanctions that are affecting those people at Palestine. If I now my company is a government at Palestine, we have to work with the mass sanctions. Other people are saying no. Those sections are affecting ordinary people. So, I'm not going to have a vision. But at the end of the day, I feel like uh, we have bigger problems. I mean, we have bigger problems other than sanctions. Nya corruption, dunya it pa top. We need to have a day, at not a uh, anti corruption day. Because Mbava Zaga wanted some government, Mbava, Hobo, Zirimo, Zukoti. We need to clean up. We need to clean up the whole cabinet. I mean, 
there are so many many thieves but anyway uh anti section day next week i'm gonna keep you guys in the loop here on uh, daily news breaking news everyday news on prince Midnight entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment and follow bless up